Hello, today we're going to change the front sway bar bushings on the 2007 Dodge Durango. I was having some issues where the uh, front suspension seemed to rattle a bit going over bumps and when I crawled under the front end to the Durango I noticed that there was some play in the front uh, sway bar bushings so we're going to be replacing those today. Uh, you see the materials you're going to need for this job. I used a pair of ramps, uh, jack stands, uh, PB blaster penetrant, 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, a long screwdriver, uh, use some blue thread locker, and also your new sway bar bushings. These are Moog K7383 sway bar bushings, and they're for the front sway bar of the Dodge Durango. Let's get started. A couple more things I'd like to communicate are that this video is to replace the sway bar bushings and not to be confused with sway bar links. There's a sway bar link at each end of the sway bar and that can also be a source of noise uh, in the front suspension. So that's worth checking as well if you're just trying to determine where the noise is coming from. Um, and the second thing is that this took me about 45 minutes just so you have an idea of how long it takes. It may take you a little longer if you haven't done it before, but um, it's not that hard of a job. These are the sway bar bushings I'm going to put in. There's the part number. These are Moog. Um, and they have a cut in them, like so, so you can get it around the sway bar. Uh, the original factory ones didn't have that cut. Uh, I'm not sure how you'd get the sway bar bushings in if you had factory ones, short of taking the whole sway bar out. So you're going to put these in, and hopefully that'll quiet the suspension up. The sway bar bushings hold the sway bar in place and allow it to rotate um, freely during the uh, travel of the suspension and also since it's a rubber bushing it, uh, it should stay quiet but mine are a little bit noisy and I'm going to change them out. So there's one over here, this is the passenger side front and then there's also one over there, driver's side front, so I'm going to swap out both. Getting a little noise under here, especially when I go over bumps, and I suspect it's possibly the sway bar bushings. So if I grab the sway bar and move it around, you can see there's some movement in there, and that might be what's causing my, uh, my noise. So I'm going to change out the sway bar bushings. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is remove these bolts. And if you haven't done this before, there will probably be a couple of retainer clips right here. I had to break mine off because I've changed these before. Um, I broke one off on one side and, and one on the back side so I can get the, the uh, clamp out. Um, so you have to bend those out. Um, mine broke when I tried to do it the first time, so I don't know if yours will or not. But um, Take this off and then it's as simple as just taking the sway bar bushing off, putting the new one on, and we'll see if that solves the problem. The first thing you're going to want to do is to spray down these nuts and bolts really good with penetrant. Um, I'm using the PB blaster, it's good stuff, but lots of different kinds. Um, that'll help loosen it. Um, I'm going to use an impact wrench where possible. I don't know if I'll be able to get an impact wrench back here, uh, but this one I should be able to at least get this one off first, and then I'll try to work on the back one. I might need to use a little heat as well. Um, we'll see what happens. Alright, for the front bolt I'm going to use an impact wrench. Uh, it's a 15 millimeter. Um, you could probably use a breaker bar too, but since I have this I'm going to use it. That actually came off fairly easy. And I'm not going to be able to use my impact wrench in the back one. about as easy as that came off. I think we'll be able to get this off. Now here you'll see the back clip, uh, this back one. I believe when I changed this last time I did have to bend that out a little bit so I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to use a big flat bladed screwdriver and bend that out. I 
suggest only bending this out as far as you need to because they will break if you bend too far. All right, I've got my tab bent up a little bit. I'm gonna push the bolts up a little bit and see if we can get this plate out of here. I'm gonna actually bend this one a little bit. There we go. That should be enough. You don't need to get it all the way out. That's enough to get the sway bar bushing out. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit around here and then put the new one in. So the new sway bar bushings I got are from Moog and they are cut so you can just get it around the, the sway bar and we just need to get it put in place Okay, now we're ready to tighten it down. Um, I'm going to put some blue thread locker on it uh, because I don't have these tabs anymore which are designed to prevent the, the bracket from coming loose. Uh, I'm going to put blue thread locker on the bolt and then tighten it down. All right, the new sway bar bushing is in, and I haven't bent the tabs back down yet here, but uh, everything's tight. And now if I grab it and try to wiggle it, no movement. That's what you want to see. So I'm hoping that that movement I was seeing with the old sway bar bushing was uh, what was causing my noise. So I'm going to get these torqued down and tabs bent back and then I'm going to do the other side same way and, um, and we'll see what happens. Alright, one trick I'll share with you, this is the other side, um, is that uh, if it's difficult to get the sway bar bushing in, you're going to have to find some way to pull the sway bar down so that there's enough clearance to get it in. I found one of the best ways was just to take a long screwdriver wedge it in here like this and pull down which pulls the sway bar down and allows you to get that sway bar bushing in and you can go flatter from either way um, but by doing that I was able to get it uh, jostled in there so I'm going to tighten this one down and that should do it. I'm happy to report that the replacement of these front sway bar bushings did quiet my suspension down once again and I hope it works for you as well. Thanks for watching.